was pretty difficult with the drugs and stuff like that. Um, the birthday party was pretty out of control a lot of the time, but I kind of embraced a lot of those aspects. You know, I kind of realised that that was part of um, what made it exciting. If, if you had the right kind of mixture of things on a particular... Not when people were really out of it, because then they simply couldn't play properly, but um, if they managed to kind of get their stuff or what they needed or drink the right amount then they were in a particular condition when they got on stage, then it really added to things, you know. A weird kind of Molotov cocktail of stuff, if you like, as opposed to, you know, pouring the, pouring it down the back of the stage that actually explode. So, you know, it was the, I kind of knew that it, there was a good side to it as well. But actually managing it was, um, oh, you know, what, what do they say about training cats? I don't know. You, it was, you can't really manage that. So I, uh, I, I kind of had to accept that I couldn't control that. You know, I accepted that at, uh, quite early on. But I, in, in terms of managing the, the bands I was in, yeah, that was an issue. But um, and it meant that I had to uh, not really go there. You know, I had to be the. I suppose uh, you know if I wanted to go and party or get really, you know, kind of just have a, have a bit more fun, I suppose I'll probably a step back from doing that sometimes, not even particularly consciously, it just would have happened, you know, it just would have been my, I didn't really drink at the time anyway, so I didn't really start drinking until a bit later, probably because of all the, you know, because I was depressed from <laughs> having put up with all that stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, I was stone cold sober through a lot of the birthday parties. That's kind of pretty. Uh, it was interesting observing some of that stuff, for sure.